Alright hosses, check it out. In this video I'm going to show you guys how to use classes with Kinter and whenever you work with a professional piece of software or whenever you're just making anything more than you know just a few simple buttons this is a technique that you really should use because it's kind of the standard for well not only making GUI applications but making all software. So let's go ahead and get started right now. I mean we already know the basics of classes from the regular Python tutorials so now let's see how to use it in Kinter. So this application is just going to be a really simple um, it's going to have a window in one button you're going to click it and it's just going to print something out on the screen and another button you click it and it just quits same as the X button but you know it's a different technique I want to show you guys. So you can name your class anything you want I'm just going to name mine Bucky's Buttons because I don't know seemed appropriate. Now I don't even know if I uh, taught you guys about the init method but if I didn't then I'll make another tutorial in my regular Python tutorials because it's kind of um, doesn't really have to deal with Kinter and GUI and stuff but what it is is if you don't know already put two underscores and then type in it and then two more underscores and what this is is it's a special kind of function because whenever you create an object from this class you don't need to call this explicitly. This stands for initialize and it gets called automatically whenever you create an object. So without having to call any variables or any functions, um, this function is gonna pretty much occur as soon as you create something. So kind of hard to explain but you'll see um, at the end of it. Now of course like all functions it's gonna take the parameter self or well most of our functions and it also is going to take one more parameter since we're working with GUIs and I'm just going to call it master. Now anytime you see master this means the root or the main window and I want to pass it in because since we're creating GUI I'm going to say okay whenever you first create an object from this class create that root or main window. So I know I named it something different but it's just so um, you guys can differentiate between this variable and the one we pass in the function but they're really the same thing so what are we gonna do with our GUI well let's go ahead and create a frame first just something to stick in there so of course we create a, a, a variable and we set it equal to the frame and inside it, it says okay where do you want to put this frame well we want to put it right in the main window the root but remember root is now master so we put master right here so all we did right here is we created a frame in the main window simple enough so now let's go ahead and just display it on the screen so frame pack this pretty much means display on the screen place it in there alright this is pretty easy to set this up so far so let's go ahead and create some buttons now so now that we have that frame we can go ahead and create some buttons and put them in there so remember anytime you want to create um, a button variable set it equal to self and I'll make the print button first so print button and this is going to be the one that you click and it just prints something out down here just some really simple functionality so of course we already know how to create that button where do you want to put it well we'll just go ahead and put it in the frame right there and the text that we want to appear on our button we'll, we'll just say like a uh, print uh, yeah we'll just say print message who cares now the last thing I want to do is of course whenever we click this button we have to say okay call a certain function and we don't have any other functions created yet but we will in just a second so command set this equal to self print message and again this is the function that we're going to create in just a second so under this we created the button all we have to do is display on the screen now so self this button what do I want to do well I want to pack it aka place it on the screen and actually let me go ahead and put this on the left hand side just so we got everything nice and organized so pretty much we have a blank window with a button in it right now a button that is supposed to do something but you know we didn't create the functionality for it yet but it takes like two seconds so don't worry so the only other button I want to show you guys how to make is that quit button so pretty much going to do the same thing up here so self I'll call this the quit button and set this equal to actually I'm going to copy all this 
because I am feeling kind of lazy today. So of course, button frame, the text can just be like, uh, I don't know, just quit. Won't get too fancy with it. And this command is actually, we don't have to write um, a custom function to quit because there's already something that's built in Kinter, and that is frame quit. As you can see, it already popped up down there. Whenever you call this command, what it does is quit basically breaks the main loop. And remember, whenever you break the main loop, it's the equivalent of closing it or ending your program. So the main window only displays because the loop keeps going and going. So whenever we quit it, it's going to close your program. Same as closing the X button. Simple enough. So the only thing we have to do for this is display it on the screen. And of course, instead of print button, quit button. And we'll pack this to the left too. So this print button will appear on the left. And this, even though we have it side left, it'll appear to the right of that since there's already something on the left. But um, this is how you like, this is how you commonly lay out things. Just put left and left and then you don't get organized or disorganized whenever you're adding more crap. So our program looks pretty good. The only other thing we have to do is first, we're getting a little warning right here because it says, hey, you said whenever you click this button, call the function print message. So give me a function print message. Oh, well, okay, we'll do that bossy little kinter. All right, so to find print massage, and of course, nice, it already threw it in there. And of course, self, we know means whenever we create an object from this class, Bucky's buttons, it's just throwing this object in there. So what do we want this bu um, function to do? We'll just go ahead and print out, wow, this actually worked. All right, pretty sweet. Everything's looking good. So we made a class, and that's what that little warning means right here if you ever see this. But this is just like um, the rules for how you're supposed to format it. It won't mess it up, but whenever you make a class, you need two blank lines above it. I don't know, kind of stupid, but whatever. All right, so we made our class looking good. And the only other thing we need to do, remember, anytime we want to use something from a class, we need to make an object. An object allows us to access the crap inside the class. So I just named just this object B and set it equal to the class name. Bucky's button and remember we need to pass in the root window or the main window and that gets treated as master so now this is all we have to do because remember we don't need to call any of these functions explicitly with our object because in it automatically it gets called as soon as we create any object from this class and print message is going to get called whenever we click this button so now if I run this and I hate having to like grab in this little tiny area. But basically check out down here when I hit print message. Every time I click it, it says, wow, this actually worked. And of course, quit is going to call the command frame quit, which is the equivalent of pressing this, which are both the equivalent of ending your main loop. So how easy is that? You create your entire class and all of the functionality is built right in. You don't have to explicitly call anything from these silly little objects. Pretty freaking sweet. Actually, working with classes, in my mind, is a lot easier than working without them. So, I don't know. I get uh, a little too excited about, you know, programming and classes and stuff. So, I'm going to go take a break, cool my head, and, uh, well, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time.